Level one is also representative of the first chakra. You can use the power of the first chakra located at the base of your spine to learn more and to fully connect to the earth and your own core. It is also called the root chakra because it helps you connect to the physical world and serves as a foundation for you to build upon and even evolve from. It basically serves as your grounding wire to the earth, right? If we think about electricity, what do we have to do? We have to ground it into the earth. It's the same exact thing we need to do as humans, as we need to release our energy into the earth. When this chakra is balanced, you'll have more vitality, courage, and even self-confidence. Use this to help you tap into abundance and the universe and create the foundation for all that you desire. Your in real life focus for level one is to use your mind to apply your intelligence to find ways to understand your soul. You see, you can use your inner child to say, oh, I want this, I want that, to keep yourself happy, to keep yourself always going. But use your intelligence to say, that might not be right or that might not be good. Let's hold on a second and analyze the situation. And that will bring you understanding to who you are at your core, your soul. Only when you have awareness of your inner self or your soul and what will make you truly happy can you tap into the subtle energies of your body and get everything else that you desire in life. You see, I was always smart, intelligent, and could get anything I've wanted in my life. I've gotten Ferraris, I've gotten the mega house that I've dreamed of. And as I started doing that, my whole entire life, it's like I knew what I wanted, and I knew what I wanted to do. And that was to train and teach people this information. But I kept going after the money, and that's not what my soul craved. Once I learned to really connect, and be grateful, and go after my real passion, that's when my real journey towards getting everything I've ever wanted really began. Yes, you can use this course and you can use these different tactics to get money and to do different things, but make sure it's in alignment with yourself. Make sure that you're connecting to your core and it's ultimately what you want for your future, what you feel you know you need to do on this planet, what your mission is, what your truth is. And there's very simple ways to understand what that is and how you should be connecting to it. The first step is just being present. Forget the past. Look, here's the deal. Your mind isn't currently in the state it needs to be in to really exploit your inner superpower and get everything you want out of life. Otherwise, you wouldn't be here with me. You'd be off, well, happily living your superhuman life. So, since you're here, it tells me that you're really ready to start growing and living to your highest potential. It's important that you get your mind into the present so that you can access your inner power. Although understanding your past can help you to appreciate the present, holding on to it will never ever serve you. It's time to unstick yourself from the past or it will define you and mark every step you take from now on. Look at the past for only the positive and only the pieces that you learn from it. The past is here to teach you a lesson, but never ever dwell on it. You can't change anything that happened in the past, so forget it. Think about everything that's going on right now. It is so crucial to forget the past and just be in the present. The weight of past failures may be weighing you down, but I'm here to tell you, you're actually in good company. Many wildly successful people have pasts and histories of failure, like Abraham Lincoln, who went bankrupt twice. Albert Einstein's professor called him the laziest dog in the university. Thomas Edison's teachers told him he was too stupid to learn anything. Jerry Seinfeld was booed off stage many times. Oprah Winfrey was fired from her first TV job and was told that she was too unfit for TV. Steven Spielberg got rejected from film school three times. Michael Jordan was cut from his high school basketball team. Steve Jobs was removed from the company he started, Apple. 
I've had successes and I've had failures. In fact, most of what I thought were huge successes at the time ended up in fact being failures. From businesses to relationships with people to decisions I've made. Perhaps it all really comes down to how you define failure. The point is, you can either let your past go or you can let it grip you in paralysis. And that's not something you want. You want to lead yourself to getting what you really want in life. So please, please, please keep that in mind. If you can't let go of the past, how can you move forward? Real life is beyond dwelling in the past. No matter how challenging or crazy your past is, no matter how stressful it is, being 100% present in your life and in all that you do can become your virtual oasis. It can change your life and it's incredibly simple.